Ciao a tutti, sono Brittany. I'm gonna be your chef today in Positano, Italy. E benvenuto back to my channel. I have two cameras. We're very high class. That's right, you bitches. Today we are POVing that we are in Italy because I wanted to make this salad for forever. It is a watermelon feta mint salad. So first, get you a big, thick, juicy melon. Let's get into it. We are going to use a cucumber as well to freshen things up. And I have this beautiful headscarf on that I got from Wildflower Cases of all places. So adorable and graceful. Kelly could not figure out how to tie it but kind of stupid I'm not gonna lie got my beautiful Italian flag let's get into it so let's chop this thing in half I had this instacarted so whoever picked this watermelon did such a beautiful job it was the sweetest melon I have ever put in between my two jaws now, if this is your first visit with us here um, in Brittany's kitchen, just know we're all proud Italians who grew up on the Amalfi Coast seaside. None of us have a vitamin D shortage, that's for sure. <laughs> Ball your melons, that's all I'm showing you here. And yes, I'm actually speaking Italian right now, but for ease of access, YouTube has translated it into British American English. So, hope that makes sense. It's something about that first just crack a watermelon it's just so sweet mm, god damn that's good anyway it's always been a dream of mine to go to positano go to the amalfi coast go to george clooney's house break into george clooney's house in lake como uh breaking and entering b and e i get arrested i'm in the backseat of an italian police car i'm screaming to my lover wait for me wait for me and he doesn't wait for me and i rot in jail this watermelon juice was so delicious it was so sweet dude would dribble down my chin. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Get out of here. I follow all of those accounts on Instagram, like top seven things to do in Italy. Number one, break in to George Clooney's house. <laughs> here I'm grabbing my little Chamberlain coffee mug. Yeah! Pour my watermelon juice in there. Look at how refreshing that looks. And let me tell you something. Hi, it was. All right, finish scooping your balls, and we're scooping our balls, and we're snacking, snack break. I said a healthy snack break, yeah. Balls, ball number two. Now I'm draining the excess watermelon juice back into my little Chamberlain coffee mug for a delicious smoothie. It's so good. All right, now we're gonna take our cucumber. Firmly grasp it. This is how I think you're supposed to dice a cucumber. It's not dicing because it ends up being these little like weird rectangles when I put it in the salad. But you know what? If you're Joshua Weissman, if you're Mythical Chef Josh, just don't watch this, okay? Look, yeah, it's little rectangles of cucumber. Solo tanto, solo tanto, un poquititito. In the bowl, miss, awesome, whatever. It'll all taste the same when it's in my gut. Now we are gonna add the rest of the ingredients. Uh, mix it up. We're adding some lime juice. Definitely don't use fresh lime juice. Definitely use the lime juice that's been in my fridge for seven months. That's definitely crucial to the recipe. Some fresh mint. The step is to give an offering to the Italian flag. Slap it, slap that bitch. Cause apparently that releases the flavor and the, what's it called? Essence of the herb. I don't know, it smells pretty good though. So it's like Colgate. Make sure to add Colgate to your watermelon salad. Get that bitch, slap, slap. All right, now we're gonna mix it up. Starting to come together. Starting to look kind of delicious and professional. A little more mint because apparently I love the taste of toothpaste. What's next? <laughs> basil, that's right. I don't have real basil, okay? So we're using basil flakes. Just keep going until your heart tells you that that's enough. Stop, that's enough. Next is this chili lime seasoning and I'm pondering, do I use it? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Cause I don't wanna ruin it, you know? Cause that, like Trader Joe's, it's like, do I trust Trader Joe's to make this delicious, fresh meal? Add some feta cheese. Make sure to take your lactate peel, cause this will send you right to the toilet. <laughs> Just do a nice little shower of cheese. A nice little rain shower of cheese. Looking good, look at that! I'm a chef, I'm literally a chef. Italiano like me. You bitches wish you were born in Italy like me. You wish you spoke Italian like me, even though right now I'm speaking Italian, so I guess you understand me. Add a little more lime juice, because if that's what your heart tells you to do, you listen to your heart. Some salt, because salt on watermelon, what do you bitches know about salt on watermelon? Freshly cut refrigerated watermelon, you stand over the sink, you eat, it's dripping down to your elbow, you're pouring salt on the watermelon, and you're just sucking on it, it's pretty good. Now look at that. 
Now tell me that doesn't look good. Recipe I found calls for mozzarella pearls, but I don't think it really, you know, like too much cheese already. And I think it would have ruined it. So I'm adding just a little bit of pepper. You know, these are just the finishing touches. When you're a chef, you understand that it's all just spur of the moment. You know, like I, Remy, when he's on top of that little pot, that's just his imagination, right? This is me in my element. I'm in the zone. We're out of forks, so I had to use this stupid goofy wooden fork, dude, like a pilgrim. Only on Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner does mama let us use the wooden utensils. And I've just gone ahead and found this beautiful plating bowl. It's made of glass. And I'm just gonna sort of put three or four little bowls into this little beautiful cupping plate. Love, oh, I'm to bring out the element and, and sprinkle on top and we can do a little sprig. Ah, oh, how beautiful, a little sprig. Oh, how wonderful. Get a different angle. That is actually looks unappetizing. Wow. Now look at that. If I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. Oh, to be a cat bathing in the sunlight next to a watermelon salad. I'm starting to feel pretty stupid just standing by my window and filming some watermelon in a bowl. Y'all, this was a 10 out of 10. Could not recommend enough. I feel like, you know, with summer, it's always like, I only oh, can't wait for summer and then it comes and then it's like it's hot I want to go home then winter comes around and you're like oh to be on the Amalfi coast with a ball of watermelon in my mouth so this one is really for you my Italian fans all three of you guys Stanley let's get some patriotic music love you guys and here's me flipping the flag color guard I am the Italian color guard I went to an Italian high school this from Greece go all right that was for all my Greece fans and if you don't like Greece then I don't know what to tell you. You know me, no cheese is never gonna be enough. So I sprinkled that cheese back on there and I had it and it is good. This was bellissima. Thank you everybody for watching. Ciao, ciao a tutti. Uh, how do you say it? Arrivederci, grazie mille. Just swaying in the wind, swaying in the Italian wind. I'm being blown away, I'm dancing. Mother, mother, I'm dancing. Now I'm sparring, I'm fighting. You're dead, you're dying, die. And I forgot that we were supposed to add those mozzarella balls. I actually decided against it because gut can't take it. Even though I actually recently started taking lactate pills, changed my life forever. So, and it was fine without it, honestly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Grazie mille. Hold on, I can do better. <laughs> grazie, gra grazie mille. Go listen to my playlist, uh, Dr. Positano on Spotify. That's what I was listening to while I was making this video. That's why I had to do a voiceover. All right, thanks guys for watching. Love you. Mm. <laughs> mm.